How to install Kodi on your Apple TV 4. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. The first thing you want to do is download iOS App Signer and the Kodi Nightly file. You'll find those in the description. You also want to connect your Apple TV to your Mac using a USB Type-C cable. Launch Xcode and click Create a New Xcode Project. And then under tvOS, select application, single view application, and then click next. And then in product name, you want to put in a unique name. So you want something that's going to be different than anything else. So I'm putting in Cody Jeff Apple TV 4. That's going to be unique. And then you want to just make everything else look like it does on my screen. Click next and then click create. Now you'll see this screen here. You have your bundle identifier at the top. You have your version and build. And in the team box, you want to select your name there. If you get this little error message, just click fix issue. It'll resolve the code signing issues. And to learn how to get a free developer account, click here for more information. Now you also want to make sure your Apple TV is selected here. It'll obviously need to be connected via the USB type C cable that we talked about earlier. Make sure Apple TV is selected there. Now we can minimize Xcode and we can run the iOS app signer. You'll also see a folder for the newly created project there on your desktop. So let's open up iOS app signer. And the first thing you wanna do is make sure the signing certificate is set to your developer account. Then click browse and select the Kodi Nightly file. Then for provisioning profile, you wanna select the name of the project that we created in Xcode earlier. So I'm gonna select this one right here, Jeff Apple TV 4, and then click start and then click save to save the IPA file that this is going to create to your desktop. Now this will take some time, so you have to be a little patient here, but it doesn't take that long. And once it is complete, this is the actual file that we're going to deploy to the Apple TV. So we're almost done. So we'll just wait a little bit. Now it's packaging the IPA. And we are almost complete. And you can also see my Apple TV screensaver in the bottom right hand corner. So now we're complete. We can close out of the iOS app signer. So here is the IPA file that we're gonna deploy. So open up Xcode now. Then you wanna click where it says window at the top and then select devices. Now you wanna select Apple TV here and then click the plus sign below and then point to your IPA file and then click open. Now this is actually deploying the IPA file, the Kodi IPA file to your Apple TV. This is going to take just a little while. You can see the status, the progress at the top of the screen. So again, this is the part of the tutorial that you have to exercise the most patience on because this part takes the longest. So you just need to be patient and let the status complete. You can keep an eye on it again at the top of your screen. In the bottom right hand corner, you do see my Apple TV, the home screen there. And in a second, you're gonna see the Kodi app icon on the home screen of my Apple TV. And again, I haven't sped this portion of the tutorial up because I want you to see exactly what you should expect when doing this yourself. So in just a few more seconds, there we go. So we see where it says Kodi installed on Xcode. You also see Kodi, the app icon on the home screen right there on the Apple TV. So let's just launch this thing. Let's see what it's all about. There is the Kodi splash screen. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the Kodi interface. So ladies and gents, please leave me a thumbs up if you appreciated this tutorial. It really does help out a lot. Also, if you want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. But most importantly, let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.